Hey guys, welcome back to Money Mondays with Melissa. So today we're going to be talking about what money you need or not. No, no, no. Okay, forget about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Money Mondays with Melissa. So today I'm going to be talking about what are your closing costs. Now, when you're selling or buying a house, you have closing costs. Today I'm going to be talking about closing costs for buyers, okay? A lot of times people think that their closing costs are just money that goes to the bank. In all honesty, there's actually different pockets that it goes to. So let me kind of break it down for you. One, title insurance. When you're getting a property, you do have to have a title search. And a bank will require you to have a title insurance policy, basically insuring the bank um, against any title issues. And then an attorney will also recommend that you yourself purchase title insurance. Once again, to ensure that if somebody were to come and say, hey, that property was not legally passed down and it technically belongs to me, you have title insurance for that. So I do recommend getting that. Now, what a lot of people will not tell you is you can actually shop around for title insurance. So if you are interested in shopping around for title insurance and are looking for a title insurance quote, let me know. I can introduce you to some people and then you know we can make that happen. So that's one. Another thing that is also part of your closing costs, that's mortgage tax. When you're purchasing a property into five boroughs, you do have 1.8% that is payable to New York City. The bank will also have their own additional thing that they have to pay to New York City, but that is part of your closing costs. Now, if you're purchasing out on the island, guess what? That is not factored for you. But what does factor are your property taxes. So every bank, depending on what time of the year you're closing or whoever the lender is, they're gonna have you escrow for a certain amount of months of property taxes. It could be two months, three months, six months, seven months. Once again, it depends on the time of the year you're closing, when the taxes are payable and who your lender is. Um, and so if you're purchasing in the boroughs, that's typically gonna be a little bit lower than those that are purchasing out on the island. But that is part of your closing costs. Additionally, things like your appraisal fee, um, that's part of your closing costs. I'm to your credit. That is part of your closing costs. Buying down your interest rate would technically be part of your closing costs. But with interest rates being so amazing right now, you may not necessarily need to do that. Um, if you're purchasing a new construction or a foreclosure property, though, please keep in mind that you will typically have to take on the seller's transfer taxes, which in New York State is 0.4% of the purchase price. And in New York City, is 1% if you're below 500,000 and 1.425% if you're above 500,000. The reason why I think it's so important to know what your closing costs are is because a lot of people think that these closing costs just go to the bank or they're gonna come to like the real estate broker or something like that. And the answer is no, there's actually different things that it goes to and different things that it's applicable to. Um, and I think it's so important to know your numbers. So guys, thank you so much for following me. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Metro New York or Long Island or actually anywhere, Send me a DM, send me a text, uh, or give me a phone call. My information is in my bio. Thank you so much for following me on Instagram at my realtor life. And thank you if you are on YouTube. Please hit subscribe, like, comment, feel free to share, all that wonderful stuff. Thank you guys. And until next time, I will see you on Money Mondays with Melissa.